drive in first so we don't have to mix it up. I don't need to mention that because I do have it around the other way. Yeah. Might be smart. It's normally uh, three capsule, capsules in a nine litre um, watering can. So if you just put three capsules. That's for large shrubs and trees. Yeah. So yeah, three. that should be fine. Yeah. Three capsules. That might maybe attached. You can actually pop that in with the pot in it. Chuck it in with the pot. Okay, chuck it in with the pot. We're just saturating the roots. So you just want to submerge it and leave it in there until the bubbles stop bubbling up. It should be pretty good. It's been quite wet lately. But leave it in there. Leave it in there. Let it soak for a little bit and then get the other one in. You might better pop the other one in. You should note that to leave it in. Will that fit? Voila. All right, so while that's soaking, you can carry on carry preparing on. your site. Okay. They're going to be spaced roughly two meters apart, because that's just what I've been told to do. <laughs> Going to remove all the excess material on the top of the soil. All right. So these plants are not staying there. They're actually meant for the, another area, but it's not ready for planting yet. So this is just going to be a temporary planting hole. But. Yep, it is always a good idea to make sure you've got the correct spacing between the plants. One of them is a shrub and one of them is a tree. So you might want to clear a bit of a wider space than that, especially for the tree. The shrub will probably be fine with that size. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of mulch. That's just temporary. <laughs> If you come this way, it might be a bit um, not as thick. Yeah, this way a bit. We're going to loosen the dirt first with the fork. We'll loosen the dirt first. <laughs> Did you not read the instructions? <laughs> I read the instructions. So this one here, you just want to um, measure the which plant you're going to plant first. Probably the shrub in this hole. All right, so grab the shrub 
and you're going to measure the depth of the shrub against the fork just to see how deep you really want to get to loosen up the dirt so that's sort of the so you don't want to go any really more deeper than that so you're going to loosen a wide area yep, three times as wide as the pot so we're just we're just going to loosen up a wide area first because that will um, even if it's outside of the planting area it just it's just going to provide a wider area for the roots to grow through so it's not coming up against a really hard barrier yep so it's just a rough loosening up of the soil awesome and at this point you would add compost if you're going to use it yeah yeah but compost, it looks yeah compost and blood and bone if you're going to use it um, we don't actually have any blood and bone because we're in lockdown and um, I don't think we really need to amend that soil it looks pretty good yeah it looks, very healthy. Yeah, it looks pretty good so we're not going to amend this one um, but you may want to um, use your fork just to break up some of the clods. bigger clods. Yep. Cool. That looks good. Cool. And then we're going to Dig it. measure. Measure it. Using the technique that's on the diagram. Do you remember that one? Yep. <laughs> Remember it's three times, so you're going to go two either side. Yep. Oh, actually, no, you're right. No, sorry, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, you were right. You were correct. Sorry, Cole. <laughs> so that gives you a rough idea of where you're going to be digging to. And we're supposed to have some tarp to put it on to. Um, but we won't. It's going to be a bit more messier. So once again, you need to like know how deep you're digging this hole because you only want to be deep digging as deep as the pot. So it's not very big. So it's just a shallow bowl. That should be right. So just test the depth of the pot in there, just as it is. See how level it is. Yep, that looks about right. So what are we going to do now? Whatever the paper says. <laughs> <laughs> yep, take it out. The roots. So we just remember when, with the hole we are going to um, tear the, the hole so we're going to use the border fork to scuff up the sides but that one is actually um, not too bad because it, it is clay so with clay you need to be careful that you don't want it to be shiny you know when you dig into clay yeah. it creates that really hard shiny surface so that one looks pretty good but we'll do that and we also need to prepare we do need to loosen up the base, but we want to firm up the centre where the plant's going to sit so it doesn't sink. Yep. Right, so let's do that. So let's, um, don't even need to use that. So just going to get your hands in there that you didn't want to wear gloves. Yep, so we're just going to get loosen that all around. And then just make sure that the base is firm. Yep, firm, yep, cool. Perfect. All right, as you were. Right. 
Now you can see the roots are you know, starting to almost go around in a circular pattern. So you want to just gently break apart those roots so that they're all nice and loose. So. Yeah, that one's not too bad, is it? Perfect. And we go, we're going to check the top too. Yep. Check the top for any weeds, any pests that might be there. This one's pretty good. And we're going to find the... Yes. We're going to find where the roots start. So you need to remove that. You can pop that into the, dirt, into the hole if you like. So this one's been planted a little bit too deep, from what I can see. Yeah, it's a cutting, there you go. so yeah. You can see the roots start right there. That's right. So you want to get, get it planted just above those roots. Awesome. Cool, that looks pretty good. Yep. So you happy with that? Pretty happy. Alright. Yeah, it's looking a little bit too low for the hole. Well, remember, get your stick, get your get your um, stake, and you lay it across the hole, and that will give you an indication of where you need to be. But it has to be not on top of the mulch; it has to be actually, yeah. Yep, there you go. Oops. You can see there. It's a little bit low now. We'll remove some soil. So we pop some soil in the base and we've got to make sure that we, you can even make a little mound for it to sit on. So you mound it up in the middle and then the, the rest of the base is looser. Happy with that? Yeah, looks good. Awesome. Alright. So now that it's in, put the soil around it. So we're going to water as we go. So yeah, we're going to pack, loosen up the... I need to put that on my thing. <laughs> it's a bit of a light water. Very light. So, yeah. Oh god, I'm not even filming, I'm filming your head. <laughs> So we don't really want a lot of soil going over the top of the root ball. Yeah. Yep, that's awesome. And we just want to make sure the tree is level. level. But yeah, this is a shrub, so it's not so important. It will spread out. But yeah. Alright. Cool. Cool. Now we get so just give it a final water. Yeah, final water. Awesome. We mulch, but we don't mulch too close to the plant.
Yep, so it just needs to be thinner over the root ball and then it can be thicker as it goes out. Are you going to stake this one? I mean, is it? Would, would, would you stake it? No, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither would I. Okay. So that's cool. Done. So, planting number one.